everyone welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you're new welcome to another episode of the europe diaries i'm currently traveling through europe and this i think is my third europe diaries video i previously went to dublin ireland in zurich switzerland if you've not seen those vlogs i'll link them down below we are now at our third and final stop which is london if you know me you know i've always wanted to come here and i am so excited to explore the city over the next week i think i'm going to make this trip into two separate videos to get as much content as possible for you all. I hope you're enjoying these videos so far and living vicariously through me. I am going to do an OOTD and kind of explain where we're at. We're at our Airbnb right now in Camden. I can say that because this video is not going up for a while, but I need to finish up filming so I can get out of here and we can go explore. But here is my OOTD for today. I did a little cute hairstyle. I never do this, but I was feeling it. I'm wearing this sweater from Madewell with this dress. It's a, I think a maxi dress from Princess Polly. I love this. I think it's giving London vibes and so I wanted to wear it today. Get some cute pictures. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok already, make sure to follow me on there. There's a ton more content um, for you to see for my trip. And then I think I'm going to wear my Dr. Scholl shoes. I don't get full body pictures so I don't really care. They're the most comfortable sneaker to walk around in so I'm going to wear those. And yeah, my camera's about to die so I might vlog on my phone today but let's go and explore. It is now, I think, 4 p.m. We have had a pretty eventful day here in London. What, where are we? St. James Park. We're in St. James Park. We're at St. James Park and we're walking to Buckingham Palace right now. We went to Borough Market and we had, we had some pretty good food. Megan, what are your thoughts on the food? Oh, it was pretty good, but I think most of it was overhyped. The food was definitely overhyped. It's definitely like TikTok food. The strawberries are really good. If you ever go to Borough Market, I have a TikTok about it. If you want to check out my TikTok account. I have gotten so much confidence with my vlogging in public. Like there is a whole tour group walking past us and I am just vlogging loud and proud because I don't really care because honestly at the end of the day I'm never gonna see these people again and they're not gonna be thinking about this in 10 minutes or maybe they will so they should go subscribe it is just so nice I love the greenery oh my god they're why are you guys making those faces I, said I wish I had your confidence well I'm literally just confidently vlogging in London what about it <laughs> so we're gonna go see Buckingham Palace also Borough Market was super crowded there were so many people that was that was something but we're gonna have our little walk to the park and I'll talk to you later. I'm just trying to be a good vlogger. That's Buckingham Palace. I wonder if they talk. If I was one of them, I'd be making jokes all day, trying to make the other one cry. He's probably so ready to be off. Clocking out. Do they clock? How do they clock in an owl? Like, like this. Uh, how do they clock in? A single file line. Oh. Hi guys. <laughs> I look like a mess, but it wouldn't be a real vlog if I didn't vlog like this. Um, it is currently 8:15 p.m. in sunny London because the sun doesn't set until like 9 30. I look so rough like so rough. It's been a long day. We are currently oh selfie currently we're currently waiting for our food. Where, where are we? Soho? No. Oh, oh Supernova. For our burgers at Supernova. The Nova. people inside waiting are like number 46 and we're 75. So we're waiting in the street 
sitting down, so tired. I think all the walking has caught up to me and my sister because we've been here and like in Europe for the last week, walking on average like, oh my hair, walking on average like yeah. seven, eight miles and whew, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it in my feet. Um, well, we I'm did glad some... we got here when we did. Oh, it's packed in there. What was I gonna say? Oh, you just order and then you leave. You're not able to like sit down or anything. So that's why we're in the street. But we went and did some shopping in Soho. I bought a necessity. I'm gonna hold you. Okay, the necessity that I purchased <laughs> is aloe vera because my scalp is burnt. I'm gonna show you what I got at Urban Outfitters. Uh, I've said this before, I don't know in this video, but Urban Outfitters in Europe is 10 times better because they have so many different brands they don't carry in the US. A haul, a haul in the street. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. It's the brand, I think it's called Urban Outfitters Archive. They don't have this in the US and it's so good and it slaps. It's so cute. I got this little cheetah long sleeve button cardigan and it has like this lace trimming. I know that even though it's like a little chilly here, it's gonna be summer when I go back to California, but, oh, they're like flower buttons. Oh, how cute. How cute, but um, I could wear this like a tank top or I could wear it at night. Look at how cute, look at how cute this is. It's this maxi floral dress. It's giving realization par. That's like what the tag looks like. That's what I bought. I'm just sitting here exhausted. We're beat, we're down so bad. The line is so The line long. is crazy, but you know what? I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Real raw truth. Real raw truth. <laughs> Those are my sayings, but I wouldn't be a real vlog and like a real travel vlog if you don't see the highs and the lows. Okay, let, let's cut this. That's what it sounded like when the lady yelled last night. I hope that baby's okay. asleep when we get home. Okay, Megan, do you want to add anything? I just tried this cream brulee donut. Is it, it good? really, really good. Let's show the vlog. Done to this. Yeah. Oh, we are gonna wait for our food, okay, then we're gonna take the train, take taste and then oh, yeah. go back. Yes! Okay, ciao! Hi guys, good morning and welcome to London day two. It is now Thursday, June 6th I believe. Currently 7.30 in the morning. I just did my makeup. Here is the bathroom of our Airbnb. I'm gonna give you all an Airbnb tour either in this video or in my next London vlog. So I'm gonna be filming today and tomorrow for this video and then I'm gonna split the videos up into another one for the weekend. So we're here until next Tuesday, but that's the day we leave. We're not gonna be really doing anything Thing, but I just want to do two separate videos so I can try to get as much content as possible because I'm here Why not? Um, we are currently getting ready for the day. We have uh, I think like 30 more minutes or like 20 We're gonna catch the train this morning at 9 a.m. to go to so excited one of my dream destinations this is probably so random and obscure to some people but for me this is somewhere i've always wanted to go and that is brighton it's a town on the coast i think it's like two hours away but i have always wanted to go here because i grew up not only watching this one movie if you've seen this movie then you know angus thongs and the perfect snogging if you've ever seen that movie you would know they film in brighton and Aaron taylor johnson's in it and it's just an iconic movie and i feel like it really made me who I am today. I'm not even gonna lie. I just loved that movie so much. The second time I found out about it is through Zoella. I was raised, raised on watching Zoella growing up and then she also released these books that she claimed she wrote. I don't know to what extent she did because they were so good and I didn't know she was capable of being an author and it was a series called Girl Online. These books were my everything. It was like this anxious fangirl and this like lead in a band and it was giving fan fiction and everything and she like lived in this little loft in her house and it was just like Oh my god, it was so good for like 13, 14 year old me and I ate it up and it was my everything and ever since then I've always wanted to go to Brighton and so I knew when I came to London I was like we have to go to Brighton, we have to make it a day trip and I'm so excited to go and see it and it's just a little small town so we're gonna walk around, go into some shops, it's again on the water so there's like a pebbly beach that we're gonna you know explore and I'm just really looking forward to it. There's nothing specific I want to do so I'm gonna get dressed. Sorry, all this stuff is in the background. Oh well. Um, and I will show you my outfit when I'm ready. Well, I'm ready. I just need to get dressed. You get the gist of it. Here is my quick little outfit of the day. I literally need to leave this second. So, this sweater is from Marshalls. I love it. It's a whole story time. I'll tell you later. This skirt is from Hollister. And that's the outfit. Let's go to Brighton. Hi 
Hi guys, we are now in Brighton. It's currently 12.30. We got here a couple hours ago and we went shopping. I don't know what the mall was called, but it was right in the middle of town. We looked at some stores. I didn't get anything because I don't want to carry anything and I just, I don't need any more clothes. We're just walking around on the water. It's super nice here. Weather, it's a little windy. I feel like that's what's making it feel more cold. The sun is coming in and out of the clouds. Honestly, it's a really nice day. There's a bunch of little shops and food places along the water, but we got some pretzels literally at Auntie Annie's, which I know, um, which I know they have in the States, but it was 10 times better here. Megan, how did you like the pretzels? It was so good. So much better yeah. than the US. And so we ate those and yeah, we're just walking around. I don't think we're gonna take much transportation here. Just walk around and see what else it has to offer. I know I wanna take some pictures and obviously stuff like that. And I have a list of different places to hit up like vintage stores, little cafes and stuff. I know we're in need of a Bev. I didn't vlog it, but we got Blank Street this morning. Who was surprised? No one. No, you're probably thinking, why don't you try other coffee shops? and we will we will it's just so close to our airbnb we're gonna keep walking around brighton the more we walk the more warm we are i will see you guys a little later It is now the next day. I don't remember when I vlogged last, but it's currently a Friday, June 7th. It's around 9.30 in the morning. Yesterday, we got back from Brighton around 7 p.m. I think that's when I vlogged last. It was such a fun day there. There is so much to explore there. I was so surprised. I had done some research on different places I want to go, but just like going around the town and looking at like the different vintage shops that were so cool. Honestly, those are some of the coolest vintage shops I've seen. That was our day in Brighton. Again, so fun i got a chicken caesar salad so today is friday it is the last day i'm filming in this video i'm gonna then film another vlog for saturday sunday and monday to our last day in london don't talk to me about it don't talk to me about it i was so tired yesterday honestly the trip is catching up to me but i got some rest so i'm ready to go for our last bit of this trip today we're gonna take the morning afternoon a little bit more chill i think we're gonna go to this mall and just like do some shopping um we're not really doing like any makeup right now or really getting ready for like a day a full day out because tonight i have a plan of my own this evening um which i'm so excited about i've been keeping this all secret and i am so excited oh my god you guys you guys don't even don't even i'm so excited i will tell you more about it later but i have a plan <laughs> an event this evening and it's not a date with a british boy just to spoiler alert it is oh wait kind of you're kind of right i mean we will be like 10 feet apart so is that a day i don't know i'll tell you more about it later when i'm getting ready but that's tonight we wanted to have like <clears throat> a more chill morning afternoon and then go out and have fun we are currently walking to breakfast we're walking along this little canal area which would be really cute except there's a lot of graffiti so here i am <laughs> we're walking to breakfast this was um the route we took on one of our first days to go find somewhere to eat so i said before we are staying in camden which um has a lot of cool little shops here and cafes we found this one place on our first day but we thought it was more like breakfast to like go eat at rather than like going for dinner i know we're both like all really hungry so we're gonna get something to eat and go explore and go explore i keep saying that oh suitcase I am now gonna start getting ready for the night and I'm gonna talk through everything that is going on tonight and just do a little get ready with me because I genuinely have to get ready. I feel like when I do get ready with me is I also don't do my makeup the best that I could because I'm preoccupied with talking to the camera, making sure it's in focus, all that jazz. But I kind of wanted to just do like a little update and tell you guys how this trip's been going and stuff like that. I've had my hair in this braid all day. I'm hoping that it produces some good curls. We'll see, hold on. 
I need water. We have, me, myself, and I, not my sister and Megan, we have a very exciting plan tonight. I'm going to my first play on the West End in London. I thought that was so cool that I'm going to see my first ever like production like here in London. My first ever kind of play like this. I've never done something like this before. The so said play that I'm going to see is Romeo and Juliet with Tom Holland. Yeah. If you know me in real life and you've known me for years, you would know I'm a huge Tom Holland fan. I've been a Tom Holland fan, oh my god, since like 2016, 2015. It's been a long time, like before he was Spider-Man, and I cannot believe that I'm going to see him, not even on a screen, he's gonna be 10 feet away from me in a play in London. I was a very, very annoying fangirl, still am, <laughs> loud and proud. I made it my whole personality trait. My TikTok username is Allie Holland 2013 so if that doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what does. I'll do a story time when I get back, but it is currently 5-ish, like 5.05. It's currently 5.05, I'm gonna finish getting ready. I need to wrap this up and then I'll show you my outfit and we'll go see Tom Holland. Oh, I'm seeing Tom Holland. What? I'm now all ready to go to Romeo and Juliet. I cannot believe those words are coming out of my mouth. I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long and I'm going to be annoying. So if you don't want to watch, you can exit out of this video. Here in my outfit, I'm just wearing this lace dress I wore for my 21st birthday. And then I'm wearing my Gap boots. If you know, you know, they're just like a little black boot. And that's a fit. I think I'm gonna wear my denim jacket. We're gonna go. I am not gonna bring this camera because I can't bring it into the theater. Yeah, I'm excited. I have no idea what to expect. So let's go see Tom Holland in Romeo and Juliet. Losing, losing my marbles. I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna do a voiceover and show you pictures and explain my night since I wasn't able to properly vlog. So here's what the outside of the theater looked like. I was already getting so excited and when I went in, I was able to go into this lounge. I got this cheese box that made my stomach hurt so bad. But then I got to my seat and that's me realizing how close I was gonna be. I was about six rows back. And then here's what the stage looked like during intermission. And then this is the curtain call. After the show ended, I literally ran out of the theater. I found my sister and Megan, and I made it to the barricade for the stage door where Tom Holland would exit out of. You won, and it's only a jacket. After waiting about 20 minutes, he finally came out, and someone very special was with him. I'm now gonna give you guys my feedback and my thoughts on the production overall. The acting was incredible. Every actor was so amazing. It was so surreal seeing Tom Holland act right in front of me. I'm obviously so used to seeing him on the screen. I've never seen an actor perform live and his performance was so incredibly moving and it just really showcased all of his talents. Um, There's one point where he's like sobbing his eyes out crying and I can just like see the tears coming down his eyes it was insane and the actress who played Juliet was so talented too. I just like, I was baffled because it was a two hour performance and I just would never be able to do anything like that. I am not capable of being an actor um, in that capacity. And so that was just so incredible to see. I feel like the production as a whole was not what I was expecting. I don't think it was necessarily for me, but that's not saying it was bad, it just was, an interesting take on Romeo and Juliet to say the least um but I'll leave it at that I am so grateful to have been able to attend and get this experience and that concludes this London vlog I have one more vlog coming from the rest of my trip I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me go to Brighton being a tourist around the city of London and seeing Tom Holland I will see you guys very soon for another video bye Thanks for watching. Bye.